Hi, it's Dave Oates from Finder Monkey and Joanna North Associates, back with another one of our weekly videos. Uh, we've been introducing you to various members of our team in the last few weeks and the different departments that they work in. This week, I'm pleased to be joined by Sue Harrison, who works in Finder Monkey and is essentially in charge of all our intermediary work there. So if you've used our service, you are likely to have encountered Sue and, and been helped by her, hopefully. Um, Sue, just talk to us about how you know how the service works. Let's let's imagine someone's coming to us for the first time. What might they expect to happen? We found the person that they're looking for. They go into what we call intermediary services, where we're, we're about to contact somebody. What might they expect to happen from there? Yeah. So firstly, when they come past onto that service, we'll go through some safeguarding with them. Just make sure that you know they're not at any risk from us putting them in potentially putting them in contact. Um, and once we've done all the safeguarding, we'll ask them to provide us with a statement that essentially explains why they're asking us to locate that person and reach out to them. That helps us when we then ultimately contact that person um, and we're telling them who's looking for them and why. It helps us give the reasons from our client's perspective rather than any assumption that we've made as to why they're looking for them and it gives them the best opportunity to have all the information to go away and make an informed decision on whether contact's right for them. Yeah, that letter's really important in this thing, like how, yeah. how, we, how our client presents what they want to say in that letter. Yeah. And what sort of guidance do we give people in terms of putting that together? Um, I, I think it comes across as more personal if it's written as a letter to the subject, so to who we're contacting. Um, so they can write it in a letter format and I sort of ask for three things for that letter to explain who they are so that the subject understands who it is that's asking this of them, why they've asked us to locate and contact them and then to be very honest about their expectations from that. You know, if, if the reasons or what they ultimately want is a bit wishy-washy, the person finds it difficult to make a decision so it's to be very clear, if you want contact with the person, say that, because ultimately they're going to have to go away and consider what you're asking for. So they need to understand really yeah. what you want the result to be. Yeah, no, that's great. I think I totally agree, so that's great advice. And looking at it from a, a, a subject perspective, mm -hmm. so like say you've got a letter from us, Yeah. people are quite anxious, worried, they think all sorts of weird and wonderful things might be happening because they've yeah. got a letter from us. Our letter's pretty basic, isn't it, that goes yeah. out. It doesn't kind of go into great detail because we don't want to share that information without an explanation and time to have a chat with somebody. So yeah. what what would what if somebody's got a letter from us, what advice would we give them? How would we ask them to respond to that letter? Pick up a phone and call us is is the best way to do it. You know, we're we're very discreet, we're very understanding, we're not at all judgmental. So whatever reason someone's looking for you or whatever's happened in the past or, you know, whatever situation you're in that you may be estranged from a family member, an ex-partner, an old friend, then, you know, you're not going to get judged. We're, we're going to give you all the information. We'll be very supportive of you taking as much time as you want to consider it. We will encourage you to ask as many questions as you want. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll be very supportive. Our role as intermediary is not to try and facilitate a certain outcome. It's to ensure that everyone's fully informed and supported throughout so people can reach a decision without feeling under pressure. Yeah, it's very about, much about people being given the right information and allowing them time and space to make that decision, I think, isn't it? Absolutely. So, yeah. um, we'll never try and change somebody's mind, will we? And no. I think there are people who we might contact who would think, I'm not going to respond because I, I don't know what this is about, but I'm worried I don't want to be in touch with anybody. Yeah. Or, if somebody feels like that, how, what would you tell them to do? I mean, you know, there's the, by contacting us, you, you're not setting yourself up for being obliged to anything other than finding out what it is and then you may be less worried once you know what it is it may be that it is exactly what you fear it is but then we can reassure you that we never give our clients contact information or identifying information for the person that we've found without their express consent so if this is someone you don't want to have contact with 
they're not going to have any more information about you after you've spoken to us than they did beforehand. Yeah, and I think I think everyone should understand as well that we never contact anybody from the perspective of a client who has any ill intent, do we? So no. we, we, we vet that intent before we go ahead. Yeah. And somebody, we've had a case where we write somebody, it's on behalf of an old school friend from 40 years ago who's just trying to get back in touch and they think it relates to a completely different matter and they've not responded yeah. and, and it's prevented them from having contact with somebody that might have been very pleased to hear from. Yeah. But, but ultimately what we want people to do is contact us, speak to us, we will respect their decision, we respect their right to privacy, not share their information, but if they call and speak with us, then we can at least understand what their wishes are and close things down very quickly as well yeah. to stop further matters. <clears throat> hopefully stop further attempts at contact from our client by other yeah. agencies and things to, to just put everybody, you know, in the picture and, and, and stop, you know, close it down quickly yeah, as well. Yeah, definitely. I mean, if, if, you know, if someone does express to us that their desire is not to have contact, obviously, you know, we, our advice to our client is to respect that and to not make any further attempts with any other agency or by any other means to find and contact that person. And they don't need to because everyone we contact, we say, well, if now's not the right time or your decision is no, should you ever have a change of heart or for any reason want to go ahead with this, our door's always open. Keep our correspondence, keep our reference number, come back to it. Some people have come back to us, well, you know, years after we've yeah. sent a letter yeah, it does and we're happen. happy. To, yeah. to deal with it then. I always kind of want to say as well, like I think we talk a lot about the potential negative outcomes, people not wanting contact and all that, those things. And we have to because that's certainly a possibility yeah. and so we've got to be realistic about. But I'd say on the whole, you find that more people are open to contact yeah. than not. But then when we're dealing with those more difficult situations, we have to address it, we have to be honest about it and, and you mm. know have a have a way to approach and deal with those things but yeah but many people if approached in the right way if given the time and space to you know receive that information in the right way th you will generate a good response because yeah. you've you've treated them with respect you've you've given the right information and then it, it does facilitate a good outcome not that we've tried to engineer that um you know unfairly but because we've represented you know our clients fairly yeah to the subject but treat the subject with respect and it, it does help to get a good outcome doesn't it absolutely so. yeah anything else to add sue no i think you know regardless of whether we're working for someone and we're writing to someone or we're, we've written to someone um we we support everyone throughout that process on either side and so no one should fear it you know it, it is a bit scary when you get to a point where you've come to us and we've done a search you know we're sending a letter but you know we're here to support you so people can reach out to us at any time if they're feeling a little bit wobbly about it but um but it is a great part of the job lovely well thanks a lot sue thanks for sharing that with us today um i think this is the end of the video where we're introducing various departments within the within the two businesses so um, next week we'll have something slightly different I think, but um, thanks for watching and see you next time.